What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Rich Minds Everything. Uh, I'm bringing you a quick video today. Uh, I'm be installing a fitting, well, I'm gonna be re relocating my boost gauge line instead of got I, right for right now. I have it teed off of my fuel pressure regulator. I'm just gonna move to that and get this tap while well, I'm tapping it myself. So I'm gonna uh, tap it into the um, compressor housing of the turbo reason I'm changing that up is because um, when I took it, when I drove it around a block about two, three weeks ago, like I told uh, the guys at the dino shop, I said, yeah, it was spool, it spools all day, but I'm not seeing any boost at my boost gauge. Like, uh, it reads vacuum pressure good. Uh, I think my vacuum pressure on this was like negative 20 or something like that, negative 15, 10. It's somewhere in that range. It got good vacuum on it. And when I drive it, it'll, it'll, when I when I hear this spool up and I was driving it, it'll go to like zero, and it it'll go. Well, if you if you understand what I'm saying, you know how the boost gauge it got zero, then it start counting down, and it counts up. But mine's it'll uh, go to zero, it'll go to zero, and it'll sit there. But you can hear the turbo spool like when you you it's loud when it spools. It sounds so good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I should have got a video of it, but uh, you can hear the, the you can hear the turbo spool up. But I'm looking at my boost gauge; it's not doing anything. And I was explaining it to the Dino guys. They was like, uh, they was like, yeah, they was like, yeah, that's normal when you are uh, running stock injectors on there because the stock injectors can't hold the air velocity that this is pushing in. So it's just, it's just, it's just like you just putting air in your motor, but. It, the fuel is not matching what the air is. And I said, yeah, that makes sense. That's probably why my boost gauge ain't working because you can hear this spool up all day. Um, I do got to get RTV, RTV, RTV uh, glue, gasket glue around this because I had, I got the gasket on there, but you can hear, you can hear the uh, exhaust leak. I forgot to grab some. I forgot to grab some today. I'll probably add that in another video. Uh, but yeah, that's that. That's the reason why I'm moving my my uh, boost gauge to my compressor house. Make sure that I'm getting accurate readings on that. And a little something, something. They go to that um, 3-inch intercooler pipe. Joker look like it's ready to handle some horsepower now. So we, I got that going. Got that going right now. Um, I got this wire right here. Rerouted like I said I was going to do. Take it along the wall and bring it that way because it... If you all look at some of my other videos, this wire, this power wire was cutting all the way through there and it was touching on this and it was um it was on this face and it it was just doing too much. So you can tell why I cut it off at what it was doing, because it was coming this way. And so I needed to make it longer. So I ran it that way. I think this is like I forgot what gauge wire this is. Uh, oh shit, I forgot. I forgot what gauge wire it is. It's thick, though. It's like OEM. So, <laughs> uh, I got that ran. Uh, I got a, fuel, a fuse box panel going. I lost the top to it, but I got a fuse box panel going for myself right now. I wired this up. to me about four hours to do this because I wiring is just something I hate doing, but you need it. Like one of my comments said, I'm like, yeah, it's tedious. It's very tedious. So, that's that. I'm finna get started on taking this uh, turbine wheel off, and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna pick the part numbers for everything you will need inside the video. Unlike some of YouTube, they just leave y'all hanging. So this is the part number for the drill bit you're gonna use right here. It's a 21 dash 64 inch. Uh, they go to the part number. Uh, I put it in the description. Uh, I got this from O'Reilly, so uh, I'm gonna put this in the uh, description for y'all so y'all can get that part number so you know everything be accurate as possible because I know drilling turbo is something scary. So, um, and here's the tap bit you're gonna need. So, 18, 18 MPT um, tap bit, which is that right there, that's your tap bit. They got that part number, pause the video if you need it, but it's also gonna be in the description. But, um, I also did 
because I didn't want to take any chances and mess up, <laughs> mess up my own stuff. So mess up my turbo because, like I said, it's nerve wracking. The uh, two inch aluminum pipe that I had, what I did was drill, I uh, drilled it out, tapped it, and test fitted this to see how that's gonna work. As you can see, that sits nice and flush. Uh, if I put a ratchet on, it's gonna get tight. It ain't gonna over-thread it. Or it ain't gonna uh, cross-thread or nothing. And it, as you can tell, it's coming out very smooth. So I'm ready to get this uh, compressor housing off and we're gonna get this uh, rocking and rolling for real. All right, so I got this beauty back off. Uh, I'm gonna get the inside of this stuff with a towel, take this off and I'm gonna get the drilling and like I said, I don't know if they got this mark for me already, but it's already a little spot. Um, got like a little green spot right there for me. Mark. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. That's not what it's for. But that seems like a pretty good spot. Or I know it ain't right there. Like a VIN number or something. Like a number. Um, I'm gonna say. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good spot or not. I'll probably move it about right here for safety. So, yeah, I'll put it right here for safety. Yeah, because it's right there. Yeah, I'll put it about right here up under this little mark. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm going to start getting this drilled and tap. Uh, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna stuff a rag in there. Not this rag, obviously. I'm stuff some of them in there. Stuff them in there so I'll catch all the uh, aluminum debris. So, uh. All right, had my rag in there. <laughs> so everything spilled up in there. But you can tell, well, I should have thought about that. Hold on. Boy, all I seen was some light through the other side right there. I got scared, but I knew it didn't go all the way through. That was just back of the housing right here. But uh, see, I got that whole tap. Uh, let me grab this merch. I wish my, I got a tap and die set, but it doesn't fit. So, well, the thingy handle thing that I have, so I gotta use that and I gotta be very careful. Uh, As you can tell, this hole is perfect. So that's gonna sit like that. So I'm gonna show y'all how this is gonna go. You say what? Is Ryan up on you? Oh, yeah. Don't I had to get that fixed yesterday? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting this tap for my hole. Let me see if that napkin work. Yep. So everything balled up inside the napkin. So just got a little bit of flakes in there, not much. So I'm finna go ahead and get this, start tapping this. Go 
go ahead and set it down in there. Uh, I'm time lapse. <laughs> I got this threaded. Everything is nice, tight, flute. It, it sits nice and flush. Um, I kind of drilled when I was drilling. It drilled it off center a little bit, but I kind of fixed. I, I ain't kind of fixed it. I fixed it when I um, tapped it. Made sure I did that nice and straight. You see, I'm picking it up by the actual stem itself, the fitting itself. So we know that I did that right. <laughs> And we know that you're going to do it right because I gave you exact part number. So that's going to be that. Uh, I think I know for a fact I'm going to need longer vacuum line, a longer vacuum line for this uh, fitting right here because it goes. Yeah, cause just to ride it safely away from the heat. So I know for a fact I'm going to need a longer vacuum line for this. Not a big deal. I can find this somewhere, Harbor Freight, anywhere, local parts though. But that's going to be that so i'm gonna go ahead and get this fully installed and i'm gonna check how much line i need or i'll probably just get an adapter that way i can fit another line on there so um can get this installed and we're gonna be good again i forgot to record and uh as you can see i got the boost gauge fitting in there and i have it going back to my boost gauge apparently i had some wire some uh some holes that'll fit on this um, this fitting so i put it on there and kind of connected it to the boost gauge holes but that's on there it's not fully the look, my system is not fully done as you can see i took the inner cooler back off uh i can't finish routing it and it was just hanging because i kind of half did it until i got some things coming in in the mail so i can get this plumbed right but like i was saying earlier in the video i got the three inch i had to upgrade it to three inch piping it's not fully plumbed in once again and i gotta run this different because it's thicker than the original when i test drove it just then when i tell y'all it pulls much better with the uh three inch pipe on there i'm glad that i had to change that i'm glad i talked with my tuner guy and discussed it over with them and everything so um I'm, I'm gonna have some videos coming very soon once I can get everything hooked up. Cause last thing I got to do now, Lord forbid anything happens. All I gotta do now is uh, wiring my 80 pound fuel injectors, reschedule my appointment for my dyno. Cause apparently the day that I got scheduled on, I was talking to the guy, he said he wasn't gonna be on town that day. So I gotta re my my schedule with the guy. So um once i wire them in i gotta wire in my i gotta wire in my wide band i gotta wire in my wide band um what you call them things wide band vacuum hoses so i gotta wire this in this is a, a water cool wide band i'm not gonna use the water ports the water port jets on here uh what i'm gonna do is um um, that comes with screws and I can just block off all the water jet ports. So that's gonna be that. It's just gonna be the average wide band. I might water cool it. I don't know. Yeah, this is something different. But uh yeah, I just wanna show y'all that everything it worked out fine. The fitting in there is nice and tight. This is my janky air filter. As you can see, I just cut it out and just put it on there. Cause it's sitting right here by the battery and it's probably pulling me in all type of debris. So I just picked this on here just for some for now until I can find the actual fitting that can go on here. But I might I'm not gonna have this going right here. I probably route this. I probably get some get some piping routed through the wheel well so I can pull in fresh cold air. So that's gonna be it for today's video. See y'all next time. Rich Samad out. I woke up feeling like a bug, yeah Stepped in some hard, waited out Took a load